We're gonna need to watch that again. We have to go back, Kate. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most rewatched TV scenes of all time. For this list, we're going over the scenes from television that have brought viewers back again and again. However, we'll be excluding scenes from British and animated TV series, since those could both very well warrant lists of their own. Note, there will be spoilers ahead. Number 10. This is not meth. Breaking Bad. What's your name? Heisenberg. Heisenberg. Okay. I'm Seat Heisenberg. As one of the most acclaimed shows to ever grace the small screen, Breaking Bad boasts many rewatchable moments. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. And while we were tempted to choose Walt's I am the one who knocks speech, we ultimately went with this season one episode. This is not meth. After drug kingpin Tuco Salamanca beats up Jesse and steals their meth, chemistry teacher turned meth cook Walter White confronts Tuco at his hideout. Although Tuco is derisive of Walt and incredulous that he brought him more drugs, the newly minted Heisenberg corrects him. It isn't meth, he tells Salamanca, before throwing a piece on the floor and causing an explosion. Although Walt had broken bad before, this moment was yet another big step, and it's a spectacle worth reliving multiple times. Number 9. Tracking Shot – True Detective True Detective offers twists and action aplenty, but this is easily its most famous and rewatchable scene. In order to find a suspect, Detective Cole infiltrates a gang that runs drugs. He joins them on a robbery to build trust with Ginger, the man who can point him to the suspect. I come through for you on this tonight. I gotta know you're gonna hook me up. Cause I got a real job I'm supposed to be doing. Hmm? You got my word. You beg me on this, I beg you. Unfortunately, it goes wrong, forcing Cole to take Ginger captive and get him out of the violent neighborhood as the police are called in. The tense six-minute-long scene is one uninterrupted tracking shot that follows Cole as he tries to get himself and Ginger out alive. I need you to be at Amelia Street between 18th and 19th in 90 seconds. You got it? It is a spectacular shot, and it's worth re-watching for both the thrills and to marvel at the craft that went into it. Yeah! <laughs> Number 8. Surprise! Dexter Some scenes are rewatchable based on their own merits. Others take on a life of their own once the internet gets a hold of them. This is one of the latter. Okay, Deb. Don't be dead. In the first season finale of Dexter, Sergeant James Dokes pursues the titular forensic blood spatter analyst slash serial killer to a shipping yard, confronting him over his suspicions that Dexter is more than he appears. He announces himself in a hilariously memorable way. Surprise, mother Besides becoming a phrase commonly associated with the character, this line, and the scene as a whole, has become a popular meme, with fans using it to highlight moments when a character surprises another in a variety of other media, even varying the line to fit other situations. Number 7. America is not the greatest country in the world – The Newsroom Aaron Sorkin is known for creating shows with timely political discourse. But among the most re-watched scenes he's ever penned comes from arguably one of his least well-known series. Can you say in one sentence or less what... <laughs> um, you know what I mean. Can you say why America is the greatest country in the world? The first episode of The Newsroom sees moderate Republican news anchor Will McAvoy participating in a debate at a college, where the panelists are asked why America is the greatest country in the world. Diversity and opportunity. Lewis? Uh, freedom and freedom, so let's keep it that way. Well, the New York Jets. 
Although at first giving a standard non-answer like the others, when pushed, McAvoy ultimately winds up, ruthlessly explaining why he believes America is in fact no longer the greatest country in the world. The speech is rewatchable because it's a fantastic reminder of what the country was and what it should or could be. Plus, it is exceedingly well acted. All right, and yeah, you, uh, sorority girl, just in case you accidentally wander into a voting booth one day, there's some things you should know. And one of them is, there is absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. Number six, the ending, The Sopranos. Concluding a TV show can be tricky, and the last episode of The Sopranos is one of the most discussed and rewatched finales ever. The series' final scene features Tony Soprano and his family in a diner, with daughter Meadow stuck outside parking. Just a small town girl. Hey. The scene abruptly cuts to black when Tony looks to the door after it chimes. The ambiguity of the ending proved controversial and is still the subject of discussion today. Don't stop. Was it Meadow coming in or someone coming to kill Tony? By going back and dissecting it piece by piece, fans are still looking for answers even many years after it originally aired. Number 5. How Come He Don't Want Me Man? The Fresh Prince of Bel Air Sitcoms are chock full of scenes that elicit laughter even upon repeat viewings. But this is one of the rare sitcom moments we revisit when we're in the mood for a good cry instead. Will is not a coat that you hang in the closet then pick it up when you're ready to wear it. His life goes on. He's not supposed to be here for you. You're supposed to be here for him. You get off my back! In this episode, Will reconnects with his father, who's been absent from his life for 14 years. When his father again abandons him, Will gives a passionate speech to his Uncle Phil. I'll be a better father than he ever was, and I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids! He asserts that he learned to do plenty of things without him, and that he will show his own children love when he has them, before breaking down and questioning why his father doesn't seem to want him. How come he don't want me, man? It's a powerful scene that's worth rewatching, both for its narrative strength and the quality of Will Smith's acting. Number 4. I Want It That Way, Brooklyn Nine-Nine This cop comedy has some of the funniest cold opens on television during the 2010s, and this is perhaps its most memorable. So, do you recognize any of these men? I was hiding in the bathroom stall, so I didn't see his face, but I heard him. He was singing along to the music at the bar. Do you remember what he was singing? I think it was that song, I Want It That Way. Backstreet Boys, I'm familiar. When a witness to a crime reveals to Detective Jake Peralta that she didn't see a suspect's face and only heard him singing along to I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys, Jake has men in the lineup sing the song. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one desire. Number three. Despite being understandably weirded out by the request, the lineup actually manages to sound pretty fantastic, with Jake getting into it too. The witness then reveals it was the man at the end who killed her brother. The short length, hilarious punchline, and catchy song make this whole scene totally addictive. I never wanna hear you say. I want it that way. Oh, chills. Literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my god, I forgot about that part. Number three, the test, friends. Okay, so we might be bending the definition of a scene with this entry. The one with the embryos sees Joey and Chandler make a bet with Monica and Rachel as to who knows who best. I just, I just can't believe that you think that you and Chandler know me and Rachel better than we know you. Well, we, we do. <laughs> you can only eat Tic Tacs and even numbers. <laughs> yeah, what's that about? It quickly escalates into a pseudo game show with Ross asking the questions. The test offers hilarious insights about each contestant, while also featuring great banter and rivalry between the friends. Although funny throughout, the final lightning round and the unexpected conclusion really seal the deal. Chandler was how old when he first touched a girl's breast? 14? No, 19. Thanks, man. <laughs> Joey had an imaginary childhood friend. His name was... Maurice! Correct. His profession was... Oh, Space Cowboy! Correct! It may not have created a singular catchphrase like a certain couch moving scene, but we love it anyway. Pivot! 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 Number two, what Cersei does to the Great Sept of Baelor, Game of Thrones. Being the pop-cultural juggernaut that it was, Game of Thrones has a ton of rewatchable moments. 
The infamous Red Wedding is pure reaction video gold. The Lannisters send their regards. However, we would argue that the climax of the season 6 finale is even more rewatchable. Queen Cersei is due to arrive at a trial at the Sept of Baelor for her many crimes, but instead it's revealed that she's stashed wildfire below the religious building, which she uses to blow it up, taking many of her rivals out at once. Cersei understands the consequences of her absence, and she is absent anyway, which means she does not intend to suffer those consequences. The trial can wait. We all need to leave. The amazing and slowly building musical score, as well as the fiery visuals, make this sequence one that, like a fine wine, only gets better over time. As far as this list goes, I tend to rewatch comedy scenes more than dramatic or violent ones. Although I have seen the end of The Sopranos more than I care to admit. And that Fresh Prince scene. Okay, I watch a lot of TV. Anyway, do you think number one is comedy or drama? Let's see the honorable mentions first and then we'll find out. Kids, it's been almost 20 years since that cold April night in 2013. And I can safely tell you, if I could go back in time and relive that night, there's no way in hell I'd go to Robots vs. Wrestlers. Take a look at this! Jesus Christ, Charlie. That right there is the mail. Now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I'm dying to talk about the mail for you all day, okay? Pepe Sylvia, this name keeps coming up over and over again every day. I'm sorry, what was that? I said only Marty Bird can somehow convince me to partner with a bunch of red. Something I've been wanting to talk to you both about. I know this is a difficult conversation, but I care about you both very much. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Fire Drill – The Office The post-Super Bowl episode of The Office is not only one of its most watched episodes, but it's also among the most re-watchable. Ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Uh, 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 stay alive. While the disastrous CPR instruction scene nearly made our list, we had to give it to the masterpiece that is its cold open instead. Tired of his co-workers ignoring his fire safety seminars, Dwight sets up a realistic fake fire scenario and locks everyone in the office. Does anyone smell anything smoky? Did you bring your jerky in again? ensuing event is pure comedic chaos, with each character reacting to the perceived danger differently, culminating in Stanley having a heart attack and Michael attempting to give him something to live for. So, what have we learned? Oh, come on, it's not real, oh Stanley. God. Don't Stanley. have a heart attack. No, 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 no. You will not die. Stanley, Stanley, you will not die. Stanley, Stanley, Barack is president. Every repeat viewing reveals something new in the background to laugh at. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.